Due to storms moving into the area, day six was spent in the small town of Blairsville, Georgia. Daffodils and the Daddy, yellow ones. Dandelions. Good job. Daffodil. Yep. Daffodil. Blairsville is an attractive little town and is very walkable. This is the city hall. This is Keene Creations. This is the old county courthouse, which is now a museum, but unfortunately was closed when we were there. Hi, I'm here with Sharon of Keene Creations. Cute little place here. Um, she has one of my favorite signs, the mountains are calling. She's here in Blairsville, Georgia. And if you get a chance, check out her little shop. It's full of all kinds of little neat things. Very cute creations. Lucky's Cantina has some very unique decor, as do several of the other buildings in town. Rustic Mountain Decor. Super cute little place. This is June. And she will welcome you here. Very cute place. Bookbound Bookstore was a fabulous place to browse and we spent quite a bit of time there. Ears ended up with a couple of books to take home with her. The historic courthouse looked very interesting and we were sad we weren't able to go inside to learn more about what was in there. I think the town would be worth a later visit after my through hike is over. Megatone music looked like it would be a good place for guitar buffs. We stayed at Seasons Inn, which is very hiker friendly. We really enjoyed the hospitality there. We enjoyed a late lunch at the Cabin Coffee Company, and it was delicious. They also have a selection of games there, so if you want to take a few minutes and hang out and have some fun, you can do that. Ears had been promised some ice cream, so that was next. How is that caramel mm. ice cream, Rowan? Good. <laughs> Yummy, our favorite. Season in here has the coolest hiker box. Um, they've got a little bit of everything and it's super well organized.
Excellent.